until he wrote this story in the car. So we were driving from from the island to the mainland, and idea popped in her head. There's a story she had from church that now gave birth to this. And before you know it, we've created I Just Got Back. <laughs> you know me, baby. They ain't worth deceiving. Money do the speaking. Candy signing on me, Lou. Nigga, what you thinking if they feel it? Asezua is, is uh, how do I say it now? Asezua is every young Nigerian who is tired, um, who is frustrated about the incapabilities of the government to, to provide basic stuff. And Asezua is the ultimate consequences of a failed society. Um, you know, you have a whole lot of youth out there who, who are good at something, who have talent, uh, who have skills even, okay, who have certificates in education and they've had to reduce themselves to accept whatever comes. And those who cannot wait for Godo or those who cannot wait for a better tomorrow just find the option B for themselves and try to make, you know, something happen for themselves. And in that, in that journey, they fall by and do whatever it is, whether legal or illegal. I played Mama Ose. Uh, Mama Ose is a religious, firm woman, typical African woman, who believes in values, instilling values in her children. She's from uh, the struggling class. I don't want to call it the low class. This project is very dear to my heart because it is timely. Timely in that it tries to treat the issue of Yahoo. There's so much I said about it. It shows the frustrations that young men go into or go through and the reasons why some of them dabble into certain um, means to make money. I like it especially because there's so much lesson to be learned. Welcome, Mo. How far? You know far, Mama. You know, you know grief far. You know go believe say now from Oremiji now I take. Now trek, I trek reach Alaguru before I come Gombody with pure water truck with the come house. Where I can reach Richard so. I don't tire. I don't, now two one I day here, they say go school, two one. Nothing to show for her. I don't tire, I don't tire at this so. My name is Yoni Steven, I play the character Auntie Rebe in the movie I Just Got Back. Um, I Just Got Back. It's usually synonymous to people who just came back from the abroad. But this film is turning that on its head. Um, I'm excited for the film. It's very dear to my heart. And more importantly, it's also very, very timely because of the spate of, um, or the rate at which, you know, young boys are chasing this money, you know, and the things, the lengths that they are willing to go just you know to get it at all costs and the fact that you know the materialism the, the the hunger for for material wealth is you know the chase the fact that a lot of youths are no longer willing to do the work you know to get the to get the wealth they just want to get the wealth at any at, at by by any means uh this story basically is from everything you hear everything you see everything you hear daily when you open your newspapers when you go on the news you hear about people getting it's so hard now some people sacrificing their mothers for quick for rituals you know they, they're using their spouses and it, you know so it, it's crazy yes uh, uh, the experience of set has been Tasking, very tasking for me because um, it's like a roller coaster of emotions. You have to go from, from you have to go real quick, and 
And my director is not a, how, how do I say? My director is not a conventional person. Um, she, she, and this makes it worse because she's the writer, right? So before she start to write, say, she don't know what she don't write, she don't plot them, now she's going to direct again. So in her mind, she's already, if you're in Kedja, she's already at Lekki Toge. So she's waiting, she, she just wants you to drive to Lekki Toge. So she's driving you to Lekki Toge, you know, so you got to be on, on your toes. It's been an amazing journey so far. I'm playing the character AKP. Akpan. Um, Akpan is this responsible, almost responsible guy who is not so responsible to, um, yeah, quite confusing to you guys, but when you watch the movie, you understand. <laughs> oh, say my guy. I swear I give you, eh? I'm not into drugs. Though. I'm not into drugs. I did fear you as a senior, so. Hey. Yes. Let me see. Nawaya. You know, see, if Nawaya, eh? I go school now. Nah. I start computer. Just tell me the IP. I grow now. I know they do what you are say. I know be thief. Now nah, NBC, now one sweet mama. Yo, when we have plenty girls there, they tell me now. If the country is good enough, people won't have to make these tough choices. I hope this film be an eye opener and just make everybody learn and be contented and just be yourself and be contented whatever you are. Whatever you are, whatever you are, wherever you are and just believe God time is the best. This story is direct. Um, there are no second guesses. You know who it's talking to. Uh, it's talking to the society, it's talking to the church, it's talking to the religious bodies, it's talking to family, it's talking to everyone out there who has doubts about their journey, their journey to life, their journey to success, the idea of success actually. Uh, what we consider as Nigerians a success. So uh, I know that it, it will be well received. Um, I, I, and uh, it's not just Nigeria because this issue is span beyond Nigeria. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm just praying that um, everything, and I pray and I know that God hears prayer, that everything, timing, time and chance will work together so that you all can see our hard work. This film, would um, not just tell this beautifully, this beautiful simple story, but more importantly, would help parents to pay more attention, you know, to the awards, and to to help the youth understand that the repercussion. Devil does not give it. There's no free gift, you know, in, in, with the devil, and there's no there's no free food in free town. There is always a repercussion. It's not worth it when you damn the consequence of your action. Um, very key and, I, and I'm excited and I'm hoping that people will connect as usual. Again, we've added a bit of comedy in there while we're saying some very serious issues because you know, life he don't hard. God will make it uh, And I hope that you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much and God bless you. Biodo Stevens is a household name. You know every time you hear her name associated with any production, you just want to watch it. This is another of those kind of productions. You have to see this, because this is a life changer.